Okay, going into round two with this uh, crisis list. Just saw my mic got muted, so hopefully I didn't lose the end of the audio on the last match. If I did, I apologize. I'll keep this. Uh, we can use Sakura or Dryad to get blue mana for Krasis. Turn 3 Krasis for 2 isn't necessarily super exciting, but we've got kind of a pretty good green mid-range plan with this hand. with a lot of redundancy, and Krasis means we're sort of set up against counterspell decks too. Um, opponent's mulliganing to five. Hopefully this doesn't mean Tron, because I don't think we're well set up against like a Tron deck. I'm hoping for like, we get to like block a Ragavan with a Tribe Elder, fetch an island, you know, piece something together. Okay, yeah, I think if this is four color, I think that's good for us. Uh, I think I'll wait on the Saga. I think there's a chance I want Saga value. Also, it would give, like, an avenue for them to attack us via, like, a Spreading Seas um, or a March. I'll just Krasis for two here. There's a decent chance my opponent has Counterspell up, um, which is why I'm doing this, is I don't really want the Dryad Counterspelled, and I think it would be good for us to draw some land so that when we do Dryad, we actually have land drops to make with our extra land drops. This also means if my opponent for example, to fairies, we have a uh, something to pressure it with. I guess it's not four color, it's not Yorion. Maybe this is blue white control. No, something. Oh, this is probably like a creativity deck. Yeah, definitely creativity. Falakut was a good draw. Being able to keep them from uh, getting the treasure, they could potentially be going for like double Archon if we hadn't drawn the Valakut. Now if they get a single Archon, we can just bounce land twice and kill it, or we can just kill them with Pact for Titan. Probably exiling our dryad here, yeah. To be expected. Um, could pact for Titan. Um, yeah, to be honest, I can't see a, a really compelling reason not to pact for Titan here. Um, opponent could potentially double uh, double Arcanus on their turn. Guess that makes me kind of want to like Dryad 
and maybe like make a saga token. So my thought process here, wait, do I have lethal? Tribe Elder is another three and, well, I could get Azusa. Now Azusa is only six more. I don't think I have lethal. Yeah, either way, I can only make two more land drops this turn. So I'm going to um, make a Saga token here. If they go for, like, fetch a, get a dwarf and double Archon us, I'll make a Saga token, sack the Hydroid, the Saga token, discard these two, and then I can use the Saga to get a, um, a second Valakut, and I should be able to do... Uh, 12 damage in triggers, which would kill both Archons. Well, one Archon is even better for us because just uh, do this. And, uh, we should be well set up for lethal Okay, creativity. I guess Pact of Negation is good. Um, Crisis is not particularly exciting. The Juke Vog is certainly something we can cut. I don't know if there's anything else we want. We could, like, grab a Dismember to try and, like, dismember the creatures they creativity on. Um... I think Krasis is probably better than Dismember. Could also like Force of Vigor. Like they have quite a few like artifacts or enchantments they try in creativity. I don't know how like reactive I'm supposed to try and go about the creativities. Maybe I'll just do the Pact of Negation and just leave the deck intact. Um, maybe like a Paseju over a basic forest. Do 
I want Hall for an extra blue source for Pact. Really not particularly excited about these Krasis, so I'll just go down to one Krasis, bring in the Hall, stay at 32 lands. Not the most exciting hand, but it's got Ramp, and it's got Titan and Cavern of Souls, so I'm willing to give it a shot. There's also, like, a weird possibility that, like, we could end up having Pact of Negation up, like, a turn before we could potentially like have Titan available. I think I'm supposed to get Island here. I don't even know. Am I supposed to like packed for Azusa? Arc on me next turn. I'm not sure there's much I can do about it. Probably just gonna creativity arc on. Maybe I want the dismembers. I also just want to be on the play. Probably should have just mulligan this hand. It's probably just too slow. Yeah, I think this hand was a mulligan. I mean, I don't even know how to not just be straight up dead here. I think we can, I think we can 
safely concede here. Our Elder seems pretty slow for this matchup. Force is maybe not super great, but I'll try to save you. Yeah, let's try it like this. I'll lead on Grazer into Bounce Land. Lowers the chance of like blowout with Moon or whatever. Yeah, I definitely should have mulliganed that hand game too. Just didn't have enough going on. I don't know why I kept it. Like, retrospectively, I think it was a pretty obvious mulligan. nice thing about our current hand is we're putting a lot of bodies on the board. I guess I'll turf and uh, bounce Beseju. I know I'm getting an amulet next turn, but uh, you never know what could happen, and just developing our mana seems like a healthy thing to do. I'm also thinking, like, as long as I've got Beseju in hand, I feel like my opponent's more likely to go for creativity on their crab. Kind of afraid of remand. I'm gonna see if I can, uh, like, if I can prompt my opponent to, uh, go for creativity and then we can blow out either, uh, either target they would go for. I think we're playing around remand a little bit better if we do things this way. It's Prismari command maybe? At the amulet and make a treasure. So it's possible they will go for um, like a creativity on both the crab and the clue, in which case we can kill both, which would be a pretty big, uh, big moment for us. I 
And once again, we just have a lot of bodies on the table. Fable, okay. Still kind of concerned about remand. I think I'm just gonna pass here. I'm hoping to like, my plan is like, I want them to go for a big turn and I want to be able to stop two Archons between the Besaju and the Dismember. And then maybe they get one Archon through and then we tighten. I think I'll go for Titan here. If they remand me, they'll have to sack their treasure, which should, at least in theory, create some issues for putting a million Archons in play. I think I can get in with the constructs. So if they attack, they make a treasure, they could creativity these three. I sack, sack, sack. Discard, 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 and then just cast the Titan. Okay, but this just leaves them dead. Unless they have subtlety, I guess. Or force a bigger. I don't know.
Not my cleanest victory, but we'll take it. Alright, see everyone for round three.